Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to learn about installing a Windows 10 VM on FreeNAS TrueNAS. Uh, so let's get started. I'm Kevin Stevenson with PhaseLogix. We're a managed IT services provider. If you'd like to hire us for a project, go ahead and check us out at GetMeTheGeek.com. If you find my videos valuable, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you'd like to support me directly, go ahead and buy me a coffee. First off, here we go. Uh, let me get my free NAS pulled up over here. All right, so let's just take a look at this guy real quick. Just uh, one second. All right, so this is my free NAS. Uh, it is updated to 11.3 U3.2, which, you know, is the newest version on the 11.3 sect so what we want to do is install a virtual machine on this guy I have other videos on virtual machines so if you want to check those out um, go ahead uh, I'll put a link in and up here for that and uh, so let's get started so let's just scroll down over here let me let me make this a little bigger here okay plus plus all right so that's a little bit bigger so you can see so over here on the left hand side if you scroll down you'll see virtual machines now you might be asking yourself uh, how do i even get started so what you're going to need is a windows 10 iso you're going to need the vert io I, uh, drivers so let me just uh, copy this over here and so you can go to Fedora project and well just search for vert IO drivers scroll on down here and eventually you're gonna see this here direct downloads stable ISOs for win ISOs so this is what you need for 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 Windows uh, there is a newer one but just go with a stable one that way you have less problems so you're gonna download that and you need to get that onto your free NAS in a directory the other thing you're gonna need is a Windows 10 ISO onto your free NAS in a directory you can do that many ways uh, I have a Windows share that I copied it over to and that's what we're gonna do so let's go back over here to our free NAS and click add so let me just make this all right so operating system we're gonna choose Windows and we're gonna give it a name Win 10 free NAS, yes. Uh, we don't need a description. Local system, yes, it's all good. UEFI, yes. Enable VNC. Delay VM boot until VNC connects. This is going to be important on our first thing because we're going to have to install drivers to even see the hard drive. So let's hit next. And we're going to give this uh, two, two CPUs. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more RAM. Let's just go ahead and go to 8 gigs of RAM. On this guy and uh, hit next now we want to do a disk if you already have an existing disk you can use that but I'm gonna create one here and we're gonna select disk. I'm gonna choose vert IO location so you can choose where you want to go with this guy I'm gonna put it in my VMs folder that I've created 40 gigs that's good enough for now uh, especially for this operation go ahead and click next now you can use the E1000 or I'm going to use the Vert IO and you might be asking yourself well what NIC do I use well that's a good question so I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna right click pop this into a new tab and scroll on down to the interfaces I see interface 0 not connected interface 1 connected so I know that I need to use interface 1 Back over here, we're gonna change this over to one. My machine has dual NICs in it. I only have one connected to it, but uh, your mileage may vary depending on what NICs you have. Hit next. And now we wanna choose the installation media. So I'm gonna go and navigate to that. And I have put it here in a ISO directory called Windows 10. Now this is the 2004 version, which is the latest and greatest. 
and uh, so we're gonna hit next submit okay so now this guy is set to let's go and add a device so we go to edit uh, whoops go in here and devices and so we've got the CD-ROM and that has this we are going to add another CD-ROM and so you can collect here so CD-ROM and I'm going to go and find my drivers file Oop, not in VMs it's in here under ISOs and here's my drivers file and click save all right so now we have those and so we'll go back to our VM so let's go ahead and start this thing here it is starting up and let's go here to VNC so this will pop us into VNC and because we checked that little box now we can hit the press any key to boot and there we are we're booting into Windows 10 so a couple tricky things uh, we're gonna walk you through this I will not go over the actual Windows 10 install we'll probably just fast forward to that because that's uh, n no different than installing it anywhere else I will cover the things that are different All right, here we are to the part where you don't see a drive. That is why we went ahead and got that ISO. So we're gonna go to load drivers. And it's gonna say, oh yes, hey, we need to look at uh, drives. So let's go ahead and hit okay. It's gonna search. And since we're mounted already, now we have a couple options here. We got uh, 2K8, W10, and W7. Obviously this is a Windows 10 machine, so we're gonna click the W10. So now you see a drive, 40 gigs. Go ahead and hit next, just like you would normally. And uh, the rest of the basic setup is the same as normal. Okay, here we go. Now, you'll notice that we don't have internet. So we've gotta go out there and get that driver for that. So that is also on that ISO that we, we created. So let's go to device manager. We'll see the ethernet card here. Let's go to update driver. Bert IO, go ahead and hit OK and let's see if it finds the driver. And of course it is signed. And let's go ahead and get yes on that. You'll see that the driver is in there, network, and let's just go to the task manager here real quick and take a look at what we have. Now, I will say that running this is a little bit slow on this, and that could be because I have some Western Digital Red drives that are in here. Uh, it, you know, I might need to put more CPU, more RAM to it. Uh, so it looks like the CPU is kind of cranking out here. Let's see what's going on here. Um, most of it looks like it's just a bunch of stuff starting up. Go over to performance. And I only gave it a dual processor. That This is my old uh, X, Xeon X5650. And um, so it's not doing bad on the RAM all these things so there you go so last thing we need to do is go ahead and shut this guy down and remove the drivers uh, disk and the uh, weight on boot on the VNC okay here we are and we're gonna go to devices and we're gonna go ahead and remove these CD-ROMs delete and delete And that leaves us with what we have here. 
you can go back through and edit these things if you need to. Uh, let's see, there you go. And then just flip that guy back on and you're done. That's all there is to creating a Windows 10 virtual machine on FreeNAS, TrueNAS. Uh, later on, you know, if they're gonna convert FreeNAS over to TrueNAS, it's in the beta state at the moment. Um, so stay tuned as we'll do videos on that too. Uh, thanks for joining me.